God the King book, hymn 19, 1 9. the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. It is nice that we are gathered here to worship God, to praise His holy name, and to also ask Him for the needs of our lives and our society. May God hear all our prayers through Christ our Lord. To prepare ourselves for this Holy Mass, let us acknowledge our sins and ask God for his forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary Ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption shows us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Kings. One day, Elisha went on to Shunem, where a wealthy woman lived, who urged him to eat some food. So whenever he passed that way, he would turn in there to eat food. And she said to her husband, Behold now, I perceive that this is the only man of God who is continually passing our way. Let us make a small roof chamber with walls and put there for him a bed, a table, a chair, and a lamp so that whenever he comes to us, he can go in there. One day he came there and he turned into the chamber and rested there. And he said to Gehazi, his servant, What is to be done for her? Gehazi answered, Well, she has no son, and her husband is old. He said, Call her. And when he had called her, she stood in the doorway, and he said, At this season, when the time comes round, you shall embrace a son. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will sing forever of your mercies, O Lord. For mercy, O God. Proclaim your fidelity. I have declared your mercy is established forever. Your fidelity stands firm as the heavens. Strength, 
By your favor it is that our might is exalted. Behold, the Lord is our shield, he is the only one of Israel, our king. Jesus, we are baptized into his death. We are buried, therefore, with him by baptism into death, so that as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. But if we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him for we know that Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So, you also must consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. According to Matthew. Glory be to you, Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his apostles, He who loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he who loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he who does not take his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. He who finds his life will lose it, and he who loses his life for my sake will find it. He who receives you receives me, and he who receives me receives him who sends me. He who receives a prophet because he is a prophet shall receive the prophet's reward. And he who receives a righteous man, because he is a righteous man, shall receive a righteous man's reward. And whoever gives to one of these little ones even a cup of cold water, because he is a disciple, truly I say to you, he shall not lose 
his reward. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, good morning to you all. Good morning, His Grace. Last week in my homily, I spoke about the existence of sin and its negative impact on humanity and especially on our contemporary society. I should be dwelling today on the theme of the cross since we read in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 10, verse 38, that Jesus says, anyone who does not take his cross and follow in my footsteps is not worthy of me. I have, however, chosen to reflect on the theme of hospitality. Hospitality, believing that even if we have a big cross to carry and we are there for one another hospitable to one another we shall carry the cross successfully and fruitfully the first reading tells us about a couple who found favor with god through their hospitality to elisha the prophet of god little did they know that their hospitality was going to attract the unexpected blessing of a child. Note that their charity towards Elisha was not in anticipation for a reward. They were simply being hospitable to the man of God. Abraham's hospitality to three men who were passing through his neighborhood became the key that opened the womb of his wife and she gave birth to Isaac even when she had grown past the age of childbirth. Jesus in today's gospel alludes to the hospitality which when given to the disciples or prophets or holy man or the little ones draws immense reward. If we have the spirit to graciously welcome and support one another and equitably distribute our God-given resources, our burdens in Nigeria will become much lighter. And the violence we witness, which is really a protest of the materially deprived persons manifesting in different forms, will be greatly minimized. Hospitality means that you welcome others with love and dignity because they are made in the image and likeness of God. It means that if you are a Hausa man from Kanu, you can welcome and integrate wholeheartedly with respect and genuine love somebody from Inugu or Ibadan or Calabar. And if you are an Igbo person from Inugu, you do the same to someone from Sokoto, Katsina, Makodi, or Zaria. A Nigerian should be able to live and work in a hospitable and safe environment in the north or south or east or west of Nigeria without suffering discrimination 
Unfortunately, because of the indigene syndrome, indigene syndrome, neighbors sometimes fight very dirty. Nigerians identify their states in terms of tribe. And we know that tribes in Nigeria see other tribes as opposition or competitors. And so parochial ethnic interests always prevail rather than the common good. The twin problems of ethnic chauvinism and religious myopia added to poverty because of economic injustice are responsible for the conflicts, the killings, destruction of farms, animals, and even physical infrastructure. Surprisingly, even very educated, enlightened, and well-exposed Nigerians fail the test when it comes to issues of tribe and religion. The philosophy is we first and others after. Sadly, sadly, this is a tragic recipe for disaster and continuous acrimony. People, including even religious leaders, easily become sentimental and almost confrontational or they stand truth on the head when issues that affect their ethnic group are up for discussion. The Jukun and Thief in Taraba State, where I come from, have been needlessly, I say needlessly, at each other for decades. They give deadly blows to one another, inflicting grievous wounds, exterminating innocent lives, and creating harsh economic hardship for the already poor populations. I ask the question, why can the thief and jukun, in the name of God, stop the mutual brutality, the stereotyping, the jaundiced perception of one another, and give one another the right hand of fellowship, and do what they are known best for, that is farming and fishing, so that they can experience economic prosperity and a healthy interpersonal relationship, since most of them claim to be Christians. You can't be Christians and be doing the sort of things that we see being done. I pray it would be possible that senior Jukun politicians priests or traditional rulers sincerely look straight into the eyes of these people and say these are our brothers and sisters made in the image and likeness of God we will do no harm to them and I pray also that chief stakeholders can look lovingly the Jukun people in the eye and say, we love and respect you with God's love because you are our brothers and sisters. Unfortunately, each group is at pains to prove that they are the victims, not the aggressors. Yet, one sees burnt Jukun and Thief villages or Thief and Jukun people killed and wonder if aliens from space are responsible. To stop these killings because of fertile agricultural land over which the Jukun and Thief may be fighting, the government should cite agricultural projects in the affected areas and equip the youth with modern farming tools that will keep them busy. This will foster economic progress, social integration, and peaceful coexistence. Millions of Nigerians are heartily welcome in other countries, but at home, we choose to tag one another as foreigners. A man of Kenyan roots rose to be the President of the United States of America. It can and should happen in Nigeria, whereby Nigerians of Southern, 
northern, eastern, or western origin will be treated well and not given second-class treatment because they are different. Dear brothers and sisters, we already have enough problems, enough problems with COVID-19, religious fanatics, militant headsmen, bandits, etc., etc. We should learn to cultivate the kind of peaceful environment that prophet Isaiah describes in Isaiah 11, verse 6. Such a hospitable climate, such a hospitable climate that the wolf will dwell with the lamb and the leopard will lie down with the kid, the calf and the lion and the sheep will abide together and a little boy will drive them. At this point, I would want to invite forward Father Georgie. Please, could you just come? He is the parish priest here, Father Innocent Georgie. He is a thief man. I speak to you. I am a Jukun man from northern Taraba. He is a thief man from Benue State. Father Alumuku, please, could you come forward? Patrick Alumuku is the, uh, the social communications director in the Archdiocese of Abuja. And he is a thief man. We were classmates in school, in the seminary. Father Georgi, we were all together in St. Augustine's Major Seminary, just. Father Peter Kamai, could you come forward? Father Peter Kamai is, like me, Jukun, from the corner section of Taraba State, northern Taraba. And he has been a professor in the Major Seminary but now here in Abuja. So you can see the, the four of us, please. Father Emeka, can you bring me the microphone? That microphone, can you remove and bring it, yes. Yes, so you can see that. So I want you to see the four of us lined up like this. <laughs> We have five fingers each. Do you have five? Let me see. Tiff, Tiff, do you have five? Jukun, do you have five? My God, we have two eyes. We have everything the same. Why should we spend useful time fighting? Now, tell me, of all the fights that have been taking place between the Tiff and the Jukun, who is the beneficiary? Who can say they benefited anything? And it goes on and on. We pass on this poisonous relationship to generation after generation. This is wrong. This is unchristian. We are asked to forgive. When you forgive, you are able to overcome challenges of relationship. We hope that our government officials will do their own part. We, the church, should do our own part. I tell you it is possible for the Thief and the Jukun to unite, to live and work together happily and fruitfully. So we are here as an evidence. We are working in the Archdiocese of Abuja, working harmoniously together for the progress of humanity, for the progress of the people of God. Please, my brothers, Thief and Jukun, Jukun and Thief, you can do it. We can do it. Let us unite, overcome these unhealthy and retrogressive tendencies, and move forward in faith. May God bless you, Jukun and Tif, and may you remain in peace and happiness all the days of your life. Amen. Thank you, my brothers. Let us stand and recite the creed. I believe in one God, the Father, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, 
the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, through God from through God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Prayer of the faithful. We cannot all be prophets, people who speak out the truth for God, but we can support those who are prophets. Our response is bless God's holy name. Holy name. God's church is always being renewed by people with far-seeing eyes. May we not be blinkered thinking the church must always be exactly the way it was when we were children. Let all that is within me bless, bless God's holy name. name. Jesus says that if I am kind to even the least of his friends, he takes it as a kindness to himself. May we be aware of his presence in little children, in the very old, in the sick. Bless God, holy name. May we too not be afraid to ask for help, since those who help us will not be forgotten by Jesus. They will most certainly not lose their reward. Let all that is within me bless God's holy name. The prayer of this Sunday calls Jesus God's servant and God's son. We too are adopted as God's sons and daughters, but we are invited to act as servants until God's kingdom comes. Let all that is within me bless God's holy name. God make us wholehearted in his service, putting God's invitation to us above all else. Let all that is within me. Bless God's holy name. In silence, we dedicate ourselves again to God and ask for all we need. Mary, you gladly gave up all your own plans to follow what God wanted. Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Loving God, May Jesus unite us in your cause, helping and being helped. May we find our way to you. We make these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you. 
Sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the good of all his church. Amen. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state and by his suffering cancelled our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, Lord of God, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Ignatius our Bishop, Anselm the Auxiliary, and John the Bishop Emeritus, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who are falling asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. How may son also we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph has spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Luke the Evangelist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as, as we, we forgive those who trespass against, against us, and lead, and lead us, us not into temptation, but to deliver us from Deliver us, from us evil. Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours for us. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins, the sins of, of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. And behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that I will enter under my roof, but only say the word, 
and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ bring all of us to everlasting life. Amen. Prayer before Holy Communion. Prayer for help. O oh God, help me to make a good communion. Mary, my dearest mother, pray to Jesus for me. My dear and dear guardian, lead me to the altar of God, an act of faith. O oh God, because you have said it, I believe that I shall receive the sacred body of Jesus Christ to eat and his precious blood to drink. My God, I believe this with all my heart. It is now time for Holy Communion. And Holy Communion is only for baptized practicing Catholics who have prepared themselves in the traditional way of the church for Holy Communion. All invited guests are welcome. Please don't come for Holy Communion. One one zero.
an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity we may bear fruit that lasts forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. When I see you, please. please, it's now time for all fatry. Choir, please. Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Our hearts are filled with joy today more than ever to have our chief shepherd in our midst, most reverend Dr. Ignatius Ayao Kaigema, the Catholic Archbishop of Abuja. Was If you recall, he came here before his installation 
and after his installation is his first visit is uh, coming coming under COVID-19 but I'm sure his coming will also help to find quick remedy for this pandemic that we are facing. Your Grace, these are the beautiful parishioners of St. Luke, the church on the rock, the house on the rock. We we'll welcome you. I think you, you, when you listen to him, it's juicy, it is appetizing, it is enriching, it is spiritually filled. Thank you for this wonderful message. And the points he made are very relevant. It applies not only to Tib and Jikun, it applies to many places in this country. We pray that God will help us to embrace love, reconciliation, forgiveness, accommodation, acceptance, and to see ourselves as children of God. Your message is well taken, and I'm sure the media will help so that the larger audience will benefit. And uh, you see already he introduced Reverend Father Patrick Alumuku, the Director of Social Communications of the Archdiocese of Abuja. He was my vocation director when he was so then, then we were still seminary and so he was my vocation director. Father, I think you, uh, uh, you recommended me, maybe. Yes, he did. <laughs> Father Kamai is the already who was introduced. He's a priest of Jalingo Diocese, but a lecturer in Veritas University, Abuja. Father Kamai, welcome. Okay. Father Emeka, the one that said the prayer, is one of Archbishop's secretaries. So, Father Emeka Dalu, no. Thank you very much. The other ones, uh, Father Francis is here with us, so you don't need to. <laughs> the other priests are celebrating masses. But uh, we didn't publicize the coming of his grace because of the physical and social distancing that we are experiencing. But when things settled down, I think since his grace came on the day they are talking about hospitality, we will invite him back and he will get the hospitality of St. Luke. Uh, so, with thank the gentlemen of the press for this wonderful coverage and we thank all of you for participation the choir the ushers the everybody that participated and uh, let me read your minds your grace anytime you are tired you stay in area three you can find your way here if you stay here you may you may want to relocate so you are welcome thank you very much We'll sing the, uh, the parish anthem after a few words as permitted by his grace. I should talk to you about the Catholic telev television uh, project of our archdiocese. Uh, the Catholic television of Nigeria, which um, is our project, began 10 years ago. We are now on air for three years, and we have a decoder which is available for, for sale. I'm here with um, uh, Felicia. She, she, was, she has uh, some decoders over there. And so if you desire to see this mass, for example, which we show today, this afternoon and this evening, again, for you to, to see, and then in the course of the week, uh, the mass may show again. But His Grace asks that 
we use this medium to communicate within the church so that when he has words and advice and that when there is a need for catechesis as there will be not only under COVID-19 but always that our children can learn by the catechesis which is being planned and which is being shown on Catholic television and therefore when he met with all parish priests and with all lay associations he requested that every family should own a Catholic television decoder in his own house. We installed the one of your parish priest not too long ago. Um, and from there then, we intend to go to the parishes. So the decoder is, uh, the decoder itself plus the dish, plus the cables and the installation cost, comprehensively a one-off payment, meaning you will not pay any more subscriptions, is 25,000 Naira only. And you can watch it for decades and decades and decades. And so he asks that we um, get copies of this decoder. And that's why um, I'm bringing this to you, to you. You can get this decoder through the Catholic Communications Office in the Archdiocese, or you can collect it from Felicia if you are willing today. And let us know when you want it installed. We only need 24 hours in advance for you for us to have it installed in your home i thank you very much and may god bless you all thank you when i see you please can we rise as we take the parish anthem in honor of his grace choir God is our Father, Jesus Christ is our leader. Like Christ and the Father, we are completely one. From north to south we come, from east and west we assemble. Not by accident, but God designed to form Christ's family here. Inspire us all we are, to live as we profess. To dignify our daily tasks and serving selflessness When I see you, I rejoice Because Christ is in you, I rejoice When I see you, I rejoice Because Christ is in you honor to Mary. So we have come to the end of our Holy Mass and I'm so happy to see you and to have had the opportunity to pray together. I see your enthusiasm. I see your uh, disposition for fervent prayers and all I can say is may God answer all your prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'm so happy too that you are maintaining disciplined conduct about social distancing, face masks, and other things. It is very important. I commend you for being so disciplined about this. We pray that sooner than later, we will have a remedy for COVID-19, 
and all these problems will be taken away in the name of Jesus. Amen. The, la the first time I came here was as coadjutor archbishop. Today I come as substantive archbishop of Abuja. <laughs> That Georgie said I will come back again to experience hospitality. So when I come back the third time, I will come back as not just Archbishop but as a member of St. Luke's Parish. So I am part of your family. You are my own. I am your own. Let us live together in peace, in love, and in happiness. And I just want to summarize what I asked Father Patrick Alumuku to tell you that there will be so much information from the Archdiocese and we can't go from church to church because it's not easy. We cannot have big assemblies. So the most powerful way to reach our people in every home is through the Catholic television. So we want to reinforce the television and make it available in every Catholic home. So every Catholic family should own a television decoder that will give you access to the Catholic television. So that whether we are celebrating liturgy, or teaching catechism, offering catechesis, or marriage course, it can be done on television. And you can, from your home, have access to all these Very rich programs produced by the Catholic television. So, kindly get your own decoder and make sure you are connected to the Archdiocese. Don't allow the train of the Archdiocese to leave you by. Join the train by getting your decoder and having access to all that the Archdiocese is doing. So once again, I appreciate you, Father Georgi. Thank you. And all of you, it's really wonderful. If not for COVID-19, we would have had two or three hours together. But um, COVID-19 only allows us a limited time. By the grace of God, COVID-19 shall pass away. Amen. Let us pray. Bow your heads now and receive God's blessings. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Good now and forever. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. And may the blessing of Almighty God, Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you now and forever. Amen. Go home in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.